I am delighted to see you all today. I'm not delighted. That's not a word I usually use. I am happy. I'm happy to see you. Especially the middle school and the high school students. Some of you I know personally. Some of you I see you shake hands with in the hallway. Some of you I may not even say hello to. You need to come and say hello to me. We've got some good things for you today. We'll tell you why we're here. We're here because of all of these students you see. So just take a minute and look around and see what we're here for. All these people are important. But you know who the most important people are? You. Not me. <laughs> you. you. Stand up so we can give you a hand, students. Parents that are here, I see some of you. I am delighted to see you. This gentleman right here, look at me. We struggled getting you through, didn't we? But look, we got you through, didn't we? Huh? Got you through school, didn't we? And now how many kids you have? Tell you, guess what we're going to do with them? You're going to help me get them through school. Right? Are they as mean as you were? Worse. Worse. <laughs> you the vomit? Oh, Lord. <laughs> now nah, he's a good guy. He, yeah, he's got a good heart. And we are going to get your kids through school. Every one of you all are going to graduate from high school. Now look at these little bitty ones here and think that's a long way away, but guess what? It happens quickly. I've got some people that are going to talk to you about getting through high school. And I'm going to introduce you to them, and they're going to talk to you. They are three seniors that are from Riverview High School that are going to walk across the stage this coming May. And I ask them just to say a few words, very few words, about what they think it takes for them to get to the point where they are to walk across that stage in May. So I want you three to come out. school and uh, what's gone with your high school is uh, football you know 
it's a sport I love and uh, it brings a lot to the table. It shows your dedication, uh, dependability, and uh, it's just helped me get through, get to the person I am today. Platform.
I've talked about it. Thank you. Give her a hand. Are you going back under there? No, she's going to sit back in there. We're going to do business. <laughs> now you make a few brothers and say. I've got some cute kids, don't I? Sure do. Yeah. Look at this front row. Yeah. All right, Bill. I forgot what I was going to say, but it must not be important. I want you to watch this video, and I want you to think, how does this relate to what Mr. Spencer just said? How does this relate? How does this make sure all of you walk across that stage and have a successful education? So, Bill, if you'll play that, you're all going to have to come down here out of the way where you can see it. I want you to watch it. Sometimes an opportunity arises to tell your own story. What? What is that story you ask? Well, it is full of twists and turns.
It's your turn, students, to tell your story. Don't let someone else tell it for you. You tell your story. Tell the good things that you're going to do. All of you are going to graduate. All of you are going to be successful. There's only one thing you have to do. You have to be a part of it. I've talked about all these people that are going to help you, and they're going to talk about people that are going to help you do that. But you have to be here, and you have to be willing to be helped. So you come to school every day and be willing to be helped, and I promise you, you'll get to be like the three that were up here earlier and wear that purple Raider robe across the stage. The next person I'd like to introduce is Mr. Payne, Dr. Payne. Dr. Payne is the state superintendent of West Virginia schools. He's in charge of about 285,000 people. Well, not people, students. Who's he with today? Who did he come to see today? Out of 285 people, he came to see you, right? I knew the middle school would help me. Yeah. <laughs> Give Dr. Payne a welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I want to do something before I go on with our program. I want to thank Mr. Nelson Spencer, who's devoted his entire career to young people who will be retiring, as you know, at the end of October. When I talk to Mr. Spencer about all of you students in elementary and middle and in high school, he puts a smile on his face. And he says, those are my kids from McDowell camp. Head high, smile on his face, okay? <laughs> You're gonna get to meet the legendary coach Bobby Pruitt from Marshall here shortly, but coach, I had a coach one time that reminded me I put my pants on the same way everybody else did. And you do too. And you just always remember that. You don't take a back seat to anybody, and just as the video said, it's your turn. Do something great. Think big. Before we get into our program, I have chosen to be here along with some other folks that can be really, really important to your future. I'd like to introduce just a few people. First of all, uh, a couple of members of our West Virginia State Board of Education are here. Uh, first, the advisory chair and state board member uh, for communities and schools, which is why we're here. Ms. Deborah Sullivan is here. <laughs> Mr. Miller Hall. <laughs> He's from Raleigh, Kent. I met Miller on a basketball court a long time ago. I think he beat me. <laughs> and then uh, from Toyota, one of our corporate sponsors of community schools, Mr. Jeremy Bias. And as I said before, I drive a forerunner and I love it because I can go off road, I can do whatever I want with that thing. I have a lot of fun. I sometimes have been known to put a pair of jeans and a t shirt on on the weekend. So. There's a lady that's here today that brought this program, Communities and Schools, to my attention, to our attention, to the Department of Education's attention. It started in Greenbrier County, and of all the students who were in this program in Greenbrier County, they had a 100% graduation from high school rate, 100%. Now, I know of no other program in the country that has a 100% graduation rate, the way that it works. It connects all of our young people. You are the best of the best, according to Mr. Spencer. And it connects you to uh, mentors that have been through life experiences, very much like that. That video is really good. That, that's a, that, that was, what a great message that that video had. And it's, it's all about connecting all of us to those that could be very important in our lives, that can encourage us and that can coach us up, so to speak. Well, I've been coached up by this next lady that I'd like to present to you. Now, you think about the fact that she's the first lady of West Virginia. 
married to Governor Jim Justice, who really is the reason I'm here today. And I think of her passion and commitment to all of you. We've chosen a few counties to become involved with. We just came from Wyoming County. Berkeley County in the Eastern Panhandle, Martinsburg, West Virginia is one of our counties, and McDowell County. She spent some time down here, and she's got to know a lot of the young kids. But what I want you to know about her is how much she cares. She has a giving heart. She is a sincere person, probably the most sincere and authentic person I've ever met in my life. One of the most caring people for young children, young adults that I've ever met. So without further ado, the reason we're here with Communities and Schools today, may I present to you the First Lady of West Virginia, Ms. Kathy Justice. It's a real honor for me to be here today. Uh, we kind of know a lot about this part of the state. We're down here a lot. Um, it's just a great county and great students, great parents, and we're just going to make it even greater, okay? Let's all clap for that. This is our kickoff rally for our uh, program that we're implementing that Superintendent Spencer has been telling you all about. It's called Communities in Schools. And what that is, we're just going to be uh, a group of people implemented in like your elementary schools, your middle school, and your high school here that are here today. We're just here to help you in any way we can, whether it be tutoring, whether it be uh, a ride somewhere, if you just want to talk, if you have a problem, we're just here as your friends. Not to put any pressure on you or, or anything like that. We want you to feel real free and, and just tell us what you think and what we can do to help you. And we just want to help you all come to school, do well in school, and graduate high school. Okay? That sounds so good. Um, I brought some very special people with me here today. They're really special. And all these people behind me, they really, really care about you or they wouldn't be here. And they wanted to come and be a part of it. And there's people in the audience as well that have come to be a part of today. So just know that you have a lot of people that are on your side, a lot of people that are telling you all you can do anything in life that you want to do. You can be the very best you want to be. Nothing's holding you back. So please remember that and ask for us for help. And now let me kind of get started with the rest of our program. I'd like to introduce um, the legendary Coach Bob Pruitt. Chair Coach Nealon uh, was going to be with us tonight, but uh, he couldn't make it. He's got congestive heart, and there, his doctors said, don't go. It's going to be okay. He's just started his medication, taking some fluid, and he's, he's got to get rid of all that. So 
We'll pray for him. He was a great, great coach, and he's a great, great friend. My name is Bobby Pruitt. I was the coach at Marshall, okay? And I want to thank Kathy Jefferson for inviting me to come along and do this. She doesn't know it, but I'd have paid her to let me do it. <laughs> because I am thrilled to death to be here, and especially to see these guys and these guys here. You know, as I said to an earlier group today, I would be right here, sitting on your lap, if I was here, because that's me. <laughs> and that's great. That is great. Because this is, this, this is what it's all about. This is what Coach Neelan, Neelan and I have done since we retired. I grew up in Beckley. Well, I didn't grow up in Beckley. I grew up in East Beckley. I wasn't, I wasn't a downtown guy. I was down in East Beckley. My daddy was a coal miner. He worked at Helen and Black Eagle. Many of you probably know that over Close Mullins a little bit. And he started in 1933 in the coal mines with pick and shovel. And Jim and Lee Christmas. He had a fourth grade education, a doctor degree in love. Mama had an eighth grade education. I was, a, I was the youngest of five boys. My four brothers didn't get to go to college. One of them didn't graduate from high school. So I am here anxiously, anxiously telling you guys, telling you guys, uh-oh, quit on me. What do I do here? Okay, telling you to tell you guys, Jim and E, we can do anything. We can do anything. When I was your age, I had no idea what I wanted to do. The idea, I wanted to, if you cut my hand open, you saw football and basketballs roll out and pretty girls. I wanted to dance with them. I wanted to kill them. I wanted to pull their hair. I wanted to do whatever I did to get to the point.
And at 8.30, Bobby Pruitt showed up, and we walked across the stage with Danny Amber Comby. He walked over to the thing and says, I'm going to Marshall. We signed it. About that time, right there where I got out there standing, the coach from Virginia Tech for got, in the, got out there and said, oh, I thought we was going to get him. I'm just saying, Danny was a great player, and he did a great job for us, and went on and had a good career at Marshall. What I'm saying is guys and gals, you can get to wherever you want to be. God gives us all an opportunity. It's what we make of it. It's what we make of it. You've got to go to school. You've got to do your work. And you know the reason we're here? We're here to help you to help you. You know, Daddy told me, this is a guy with a fourth grade education, Daddy told me this, hey listen, if you're digging a hole and you can't get out, quit digging. And he gave me a cover word to use. I said, what's that? He said, help, help. So what I'm saying, we're here to help you when you get in a position where you don't think you can get what you need to get done. Does that make sense? Everybody understand that? We can get it done. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. The boy wearing green's a little bit better looking than the boy wearing that blue and gold, but that's okay. That's okay. But, listen, we're here to make sure you have an opportunity to succeed and do what you want to do in life, whatever your dream is. Whatever my, my dream was to one day go to play college football. Then I said, my next dream is I want to play professional football. Dallas Cowboys came when I signed the contract. I got to do that. But when I walked across the stage at Marshall, one day I said, I want to come back home and be the football coach at Marshall University. It took me 31 years to come back home to fulfill my dream. In my family, my wife of 57 years, now she says 19 good ones and none of them in a row, but we ain't going to go there. But there's 51 graduates of Marshall University in our family. One on my side and 50 on hers. But we ain't talking about that. Okay? So please, let this group, what we're doing, help you whenever you need help. Randall said, if you need help to call it your, your number, yeah. well, I'm going to leave my car here. Here's my cell phone number. Okay? If Bobby Pruitt, and I'll have Coach Neelan in on as soon as he gets well, helps you get to college or anything you need, or you have, you're frustrated about something, please call this number, 304-633-0205. will be on this card, and I'll give each and everybody that wants one one of these because we're to help you be great okay help you be great yes, sir. help you fulfill your dream yes sir right we get it done right can we get it done Two-year associate degrees, actually your career technical education center here in McDowell County or St. Hers, some of those jobs are paying a lot more than the four-year college jobs, quite frankly. 
Find your passion. Figure out what you want to do with your education career. Don't waste those opportunities. Make sure you get involved in something that is an area of interest of yours. Now, one such area is led by probably the most enthusiastic person in the governor's office that I know. His name is Randall Reed Smith, and he's here to talk to you about music, the arts, and just he's an all-around great guy. Mr. Randall Reed Smith. Thank you, Dr. Payne. Uh, my name is Randall Reed Smith, and I serve as Governor Justice's curator for the Department of Arts, Culture, and History. And I am very grateful to him and Madam Priestley for that opportunity because I get to meet wonderful people like you. Coach, you know, we talked about at the last school that God only made football so we could have a halftime show. So we've got to talk about the arts just a little bit more because you were picking on the boy with the blue and gold. Now, to get green, any good art teacher will tell you, you got to put blue and gold together. So be proud of whatever color you're wearing. So just real quick, uh, at, the, at the Department of Arts, Culture, and History, we are all in to work with the Communities and Schools program. Uh, you can't do anything without the arts. I always like to tell Dr. Payne, the only pure academic is the arts. Things like English, math, science, social studies, those are purely electives. But everything is about the arts because it's infused in everything. So what we want to do to help move everybody along in Communities and Schools we do a program through VH1 out of New York called the VH1 State Music Foundation Grant where we put free instruments in middle schools. We're already at Mount U, but next fall, uh, I've already talked with your assistant principal, her husband's the principal of Sandy River. We're going to put $35,000 worth of free music instruments over Sandy River to help build training programs. And for me, if it hadn't been for the arts, I would have never stayed in school. So we want to make strong arts programs. Also. We have wonderful things like a steam power grant where we add arts to science, technology, engineering, and math. We want to work with the principal to make sure we come up with a good grant program to be able to fund a project of putting arts with science, technology, engineering, and math. We also do the history. And to do the history, you have some wonderful places in MacDowell County. MacDowell County fed this state for years. And we are very, very grateful for your coal mining history Wonderful historic building. So for all the high school students, we brought our new historic preservation book. That's a great study guide. And the last thing we want to do is we want to get you on your feet. Kayla, where are you? I know you're still out there. Get your other friend there. Come on, Kayla. I need a cheerleader down here. Come on, Kayla. Yeah, girl, come on down. Come on. Bring Sarah with you. Girls, start passing out pom-poms. Give them to everybody. All of them. Well, get up and come down here and help her. Be a gentleman. Come on. Here we go, guys. Okay, here we go to be fair up north. 
It was Virginia, it was Virginia, the pride of every mountaineer. Come on, you old friends, so look at young lads. It was Virginia, now we cheer. Rah, rah, now it's the time, boys, to make a big noise. No matter what the people say, for it is not to fear the gang's on me. So hail to West Virginia, hail. Okay, thank you. Okay, listen real quick, since, uh, since Coach Brewer already gave you his number, I told the other school, if you need any help, call, listen guys, listen up real quick. If you need any help, listen, listen, listen. Call the Department of Culture and History, 304-558-0220. Ask for the curator, they'll get me, and we'll give you a hand. Okay, thank you for having us, and we're gonna help you get any way you want to do. Don't, don't go too far away, Randall. Okay, right here. All right. As we, uh, as we kind of go close with our, with our gathering, I just, like Mr. Spencer, just really want to thank all of you for coming. Parents, how important you are, guardians, grandparents, students from elementary, middle, high school, thank you so much for being here. You're going to hear a lot more about communities and schools in McDowell County. And when you hear that phrase, communities and schools, that title, I mean, you just know and just remember the people on this stage and the people that will be associated with that, with, with that program, we absolutely have your interests at heart and we absolutely want you to succeed. We appreciate First Lady Kathy Justice for bringing that opportunity to us. And when I drove in today, we're going to close this way. I don't think I've been to a more beautiful county in the state, Mr. Spencer, in a beautiful day. This is a great place to be. And I don't know about all of you, but I'm proud to be in McDowell County today. I'm proud to be in the midst of greatness, and I'm also proud to be a West Virginian. So let's close with Randall leading us in a chorus of country roads. Oh. Okay. All right. That, uh oh. Vicky, how'd you do that? Here we go. Go out this door, elementary and middle school out this door to get your grab backs early, okay? Anybody been to a football game in Morgantown? Anybody watching on TV? When we have a big victory, what do we do? Alright, put your arms around each other. Our newest state song. Okay, and one last thing. One last thing. Hey, 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 one last thing. I talked to your principal. We have a transportation grant. Board of Education listens to this. We'll pay for your bus trip to come and see the museum in Charleston as a reward. They have the, uh, the grants, so let us know. Every penny counts. All right, guys, here we go. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Channel. Oh.